but this goes all the way up in there. Oh, check this out. <laughs> friends and welcome back to another fossil hunting episode yeah that's right so I'm back once again so this time is in, in a different location so this place is very very far away from my house and I decided to come back in here because well uh, I was uh, finding the same the same usual fossils and I decided to change a little bit oh god this is very hard to to climb this hill with a backpack full of water and food so Oh, I was burping my breakfast all the way up in here. It's not easy. So, friends, apparently this spot over here keeps on giving some some nice Trigorni Lusitania. I was looking at this, so uh, well, I, I already have picked some uh, some on this place, but since it didn't rain, uh, I didn't have my hopes too high. But looking at the ground, so check this out in the ground. Check this out. There is another one in here. Very, very dirty. I guess it's. Uh, I I presume it's complete. So, no, it misses a little bit over there. But overall, still pretty good example of this shell that is extinct. Extinct. So I, I cut the uh, little the video because there was an airplane passing by. Pretty good example. And well, there's a little bit of. I don't know erosion or something scratch it over there but very cool so I'm going to try to find out more so let's continue okay the patience is starting to pay off so I was looking in this road and looking down the sides and check this out there's a nice orange uh, little fellow over here so my guess is this is also uh, Trigonia Lusitania, but it's it has a, a, a huge crack in here. So, if you remember from my other video, I, I just found some broken pieces of this of this type of shell. So it's very difficult and hard to find one complete. So let's hope that this one is complete. Not oh shame. Okay. Anyways, I'm not sure if this is another just another bit. Let me see. Oh, it's just a, just a little bit. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, just keep trying. Well, I didn't have to excavate more because there's another one in here. Uh, again, it's a little bit broken and eroded. Well, this almost looks like a lump of rock, but is in fact another one of those shells. So, okay. So, I arrived to this side of the hill, so this field was completely plowered, I guess that's the correct word. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find some nice shells next to this, these slopes over here. And looking at the ground, check this out. I guess there is a, there's a one here that is massive, and by the looks of it, oh no, it's cracked over there. Okay, okay. Well, it's just a little bit, but I guess this, with some cleaning, will turn out a nice, a nice uh, a Trigornia Lusitania, and this one is large. Okay, okay, let's continue. So I left that location because I was exploring in the middle of all of that grass, and I'm not sure if it is because of the wild pigs or some rabbits, but there are ticks everywhere. And when I look at my pants, they were, uh, were full of ticks. And well, it kind of makes me in a bad impression. I have uh, some, some 
some pans that are made uh, I guess this is plastic to keep that from from uh, clinging to my legs but anyways I decided to left the that field so we are in the beginning of the spring and well ticks are a little bit dangerous because they can transmit a lot of diseases but I stop here because I don't I want to show you something that I, I really don't know what it is I didn't have even came close but check this out friends I'm not sure if you are seeing this so way cool check this rock so there's something in here I'm not sure if there are Nereida Nereida no, not sure that if this is the correct but they are translucent so okay and just on this side so the other side we have some bits over there as well well this area is full of fossils this is a large chunk of rock so I'm going to leave this in here but this is just a reminder a reminder so that there is plenty of stuff still to discover in here so I'm going to change location and I'm going to the spot of corals my spot of corals to see if there is anything interesting in there so let's get going okay I'm not sure how high I am here in the mountain so um, but I was looking at the ground and just uh, watching some pieces of calcite but then I look a little bit more with more attention and check this out check this out there's a, a shell in here well at this altitude well it's funny so the plates the tectonic plates really did shift a lot okay now I'm in the top of the hill and I am seeing some some places that I want to investigate so it's starting to get a little bit windy so I'm not sure if I'm going to record any more videos in here but there is a place over there next to those eucalyptus that I think it's promising so it has a little bit of exposed dirt or bedrock I'm not sure so I'm going to investigate that over there so but I'm not seeing any roads uh, that are leading down below so I have a road over there but I don't have anything any road out here to climb down so there's another spot on that hill over there so I, I have to record this because I have to remind me uh, myself of this because so there is some sort of a landslide over there that I think could be interesting so oh, there's a bunch of large rock that fell down so the wind is starting to pick up so I'm not going to record anymore and I'm going straight down to see if the wind is a little bit more calm down there okay so I uh, managed to find this road so it's pretty camouflage from way up there so I didn't saw this because uh, the angle doesn't provide the, the vision to see the road but I, I climbed down and I uh, arrived to this road and I saw this over here well I'm not sure if this is uh, this is probably is concrete that they put in here but this is some sort of a well so I didn't even lean down to investigate oh this is pretty pretty deep and well there's still water in there which is a good sign so they probably restored this so they probably put this cover in here to prevent of some animal to, to to fall in there it's very very picturesque in here so i didn't even realize that this was was here so i'm not sure why i'm starting to remind me of that horror movie the ring oh god <laughs> so i have a feeling that i'm close to the spot of corals just looking at the ground in here i can find that there is evidence of something interesting so i may be wrong but see these lines on this rock so these are made I guess this is a characteristic of some sort of coral. Oh, this is pretty stuck in here. Okay, let's see. What's this? It's round on this side. 
Okay, my guess is that there is this is some sort of solitary coral or horn coral but it's cracked and eroded so there is nothing much to see so I have to stop picking up something oh <laughs> I was saying that I have to stop picking up uh, stuff in the middle of the road because they are always broken so check this fellow in here it's another piece let me see the focus of the camera really nice this is cut but well I am close I'm close well it smells bad in here something has died well and I was I'm looking at the ground and this is all disturbed so my guess is that some wild pigs were messing around in here so but now I'm going to see if I can profit from that see if I can find something interesting in here so oh I'm already seeing something interesting so check this out check this out a solitary coral in here <laughs> check this out okay uh, I have lots and lots of this and it's heavy but this was not made by a pig, so something hit and it wasn't me. So, but if there is one, there is more. So, let me just investigate a little bit more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, well, okay. So, friends, take a look at this. <laughs> Check this out this rock that is in here. So, we have, we have evidence of favites. I guess that's the name. So some corals in here. There's a bug in there as well. So this bit over here is all coral. Let me see if the camera focus. See, lots of little holes. So, and what's in this side? So, some pieces of shell, I guess. I guess this is a shell. Okay, nothing more. So, this is just a ch large chunk of coral. Okay. Okay, friends. So, <laughs> check this out. So, let me see if you, you can see it. So, here it is. A nice solitary coral or just a bit so you know if there is one there is more so I'm going to unpack my tools and excavate a little bit so maybe oh there is more stuff around that's for sure check this out another one is in here another bivalve okay I'm not sure what the species is and this is just one valve so okay there's more rocks around so let's see what this lump has so okay okay i'm going to excavate a little bit so we'll be right back so let's see what's in here and if there is any more stuff so this is detached from the rock because it's very easy to remove maybe i, I spoke <laughs> well, I shouldn't say that. Okay, what's this? Nothing in this. This is the, where the coral is. Okay. Nice cup, but the rest just a conglomerated of stuff. So, still pretty neat. So, not sure. Oh my god, the camera. Camera. Okay, now you can clearly see it that ring pattern so not really sure if what I'm going to do with this I probably I'm going to leave it here so uh, things are now getting interesting so I was uh, coming along this road so looking at the ground uh, at the, the places where the water passes and I was looking and I saw this and uh, in the beginning I thought this some looks like some sort of solidified foam or some sort of 
styrofoam or whatever that is but check this out friends this is not styrofoam this is some sort of coral but I don't have this species see these little pimples so they are a bit everywhere in here and we have a layer that is full of this and it's just a tiny a tiny small amount so I'm going to extract trying to extract a little bit of this oh but this is very stuck okay let's see no on this side we cannot see nothing and I only see this because it was uh, well it was white I'm not sure if this is is white down below so I'm going to try to extract this oh but this prolongs itself to this side so let me just take a picture because if I extract this and I broke it maybe later I can pull it all together so it's very very strange well friends I remove a few bits of this uh, I'm not sure if this is a fossil or if it is a mineral occurrence so I was looking at this very, with very very much attention and I was starting to think that this could be some sort of well mineral but no this is uh, a species of coral see there is some lines between the, the pimples I'm not sure this this almost some, looks like some tiny barnacles so and it's very uh, brittle so I cannot seem to take one piece without breaking it so uh, well I'm trying to remove uh, another piece so let's see Whew. The sun is starting to appear real real strong and I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to stay in here but I'm in the correct spot so looking at the ground we can clearly see that there are tiny bits of, of uh, sorry I'm casting a shadow of, of coral so this is another a bit so there's another bit over here so there's uh, plenty of of broken bits over here but I guess if we want to find uh, something interesting and cool we have to ex excavate because the ones that are in the surface are already all broken so there's a bird out there that is making a noise that looks like a telephone guys listen to this <laughs> I never did heard a, a bird doing a sound like this If you have eyes, uh, this place has a lot of <laughs> cool stuff, so check this out. See this over here in the ground? Take a look at this rock. It's amazing. This pattern is so cool. So this is just a bit, a bit of the coral, but I'm going to see if I can find more. So friends, there's a nice five-eyed coral hidden in there. So I'm going to try to reach that. So not really sure if I'm going to achieve what I'm planning to, but see, I have lots of this, but maybe this one is complete. So I'm just going to work a little bit in here. Oh, more pieces. And there is another piece over there. That is hanging out. Oh, this one is large. So I'm casting a shadow, but this goes all the way up in there. Oh, check this out. <laughs> check this slab. Very, very nice. So there is more in there for sure. So I'm going to try to reach for that. So just hold on tight because I'm going to excavate a little bit more. So I was excavated in here, excavating, and there's slabs and slabs of corals, one on top of the other, but nothing complete. This is just broken, broken pieces, some are larger than ones, and I managed to extract a few. So I put them over here, as you can see. So I guess uh, these ones are coming along with me, but I'm going to wrap them in the newspapers 
because if they 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 I put them inside of the bag, they, they end up bumping with each other and start to to make some chips and there there's well it's annoying. So another thing that was down below and I wasn't recording was this. Check this out. This is a horn coral. I believe this one stopped growing and another one grows on top of this. So this is extraordinary. I didn't have anything like this. So quite cool. And I found a little gastropod as usual. <laughs> Gastropods found me. So another little snail. So I'm going to remove just one bit of coral and then I will on my way because it's very hot in here. So welcome back everyone. So here we are back again in my collection. So I just want to show you some of the findings that I bring home today. So it was a lot of sad and I guess uh, you probably don't see this in the movie because I think uh, when it's a lot of sun you cannot see the details but well I picked up some of five bites coral so there's a lot of this type of coral over there so I bring uh, some uh, large pieces so it's kind of difficult to find one piece that is complete so these are just broken pieces but fortunately I bring home a piece a large piece that was complete so this is a large chunk of favite coral and we got a bonus over here so where is it it's over there so we have a small bivalve attached to the coral on this side well it has the two valves so it's kind of cool so i'm not sure this looks like almost looks like a one hand so pointing upwards <laughs> so and i bring home uh, as you can see in the video some of uh, uh, Trigonia uh, Miforella Lusitania. So this, I guess, this was the best one that I found. So uh, well, it needs still needs a lot of cleaning, but well, uh, after some cleaning, I guess this this could be worth of of the collection. So uh, I just it's just a little piece that is missing over there. Overall, it's in great shape. So you already saw more or less the the other pieces. So I found this. Uh, horn coral, solitary coral, coral. So this one was growing like that and this one uh, has grown on top of the other one but it misses a large chunk on this side. So still cool. So guys, I just want to show you this and so guys, uh, if you like this, so don't forget to put a like and subscribe to the video. So you help me a lot. And well, stay tuned for the next video. Bye.